It's me. I haven't filmed in like five days. Also, sorry for showing so much torso. If you care, I'm going to work soon, but I'm making breakfast. So I don't want to put my shirts on just yet. So I put on the cardigan. It only zips up halfway. I'm in undergoing t-shirt time. It's not t-shirt time yet. So this is like that pre situation hi good morning it is valentine's day who's who's feeling gushy i can't speak nothing has changed i um i feel like the sun has came out the sun is i mean it's kind of cloudy and it's been a really nice week in terms of sun showing but personally internally the sun has come out i am pretty much completely rid of my sickness everything has i'm still like coughing up some phlegm here and there but this has been saving my day-to-day. -day. Also, I have a full face of makeup on and I always feel very, a little bit disconnected from myself, but also I just look in the mirror and I feel somebody that, I see somebody that is like really aged. I feel like wearing full face of makeup kind of takes away the youthfulness of my being. Regardless, it's Valentine's Day and this is why I decided to wear a full face of makeup. I was gonna wear some red eyeliner, but I'm like, I'm going to work for nine hours, 10 hours it's gonna get messed up and then I'm gonna feel really insecure for the rest of my shift and I don't really even want to do that because I feel that even with what I'm wearing blush lipstick I mean I usually wear a lip product so that's not the issue it'll never be the issue lip products are number one in my heart eyeliner I got some eyeliner on um I don't know if you can tell I got some contour on and some concealer that's a full face to me and even with this I have the ability to look in the mirror and be like ugh I feel dirty. Also, I put some setting spray that makes me glow. I look radiant with this e.l.f. setting spray. Let me grab it. Stay all night, micro fine setting mist. The only thing is with this, I make it like sets and it does its job and it smells kind of chemically, but it sets and it stays all night. The only thing for me personally, I, it breaks me out and it makes my skin, it makes my skin kind of like, ugh after like too many times of using it but that is what's on the face i'm making myself breakfast sweet potato egg scramble type situation i'm putting avocado and tomatoes in it that's what i'm up to how are you doing my name is casey welcome to a new video i feel kind of giddy because i've been filming like five days and especially not like this we haven't seen this setting in like two or three weeks but welcome to my kitchen this is where i make food and i clean dishes or really my dishes just pile up and it takes me like five days to clean them welcome to breakfast it is very delicious and it's filling and it's satisfying Valentine's Day has always been one of my f actually it has been always been the one it has always been my favorite holiday this year I'm not really doing anything out of the ordinary except for wearing full face of makeup I also an update on the collage it took me three weeks to do it I had to ask for an extension but I'm so blessed and mind you I am still so blessed yes but mind you I'm still now having to work on it I finished it but I will finish it in landscape mode assuming that he wanted it in landscape because the wall that he sent me was landscape there was no way you can fit a collage on a portrait mode but in fact boy was i wrong he wasn't a portrait mode so guess what i have to spend another i don't know it took me so long but this one's gonna take me there is a lot of learning curves and uh, situations where i had a head experience it wouldn't have taken me that long also i was sick very very sick i was going through something i was experiencing a lot of things in that in those times in those three weeks so it'll take me i told him that i should have it done in like three to five days which i still stand on i should have it done sorry i'm losing my train of thought because now i'm scrambling my eggs anyway what i was saying was so i'm gonna be spending like three to five more days working on it and it shouldn't take me nearly as long because i learned a lot of things and i made a lot of mistakes the first round yada 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 but if you've been following up on my videos do you remember how i was saying that i undercharged him like immensely like i undercharged him by like a hundred dollars not thinking it's my first collage so i just wasn't i didn't know what to expect and i didn't want to overdo it overdo it if you're an artist and you're selling something for the first time overdo it if anything you can always negotiate and that's what i did for my first logo and it 
worked out just fine but this one I was like uh, it's a photo collage it shouldn't take me that long it took me it took so much more time than I feel the logo did I also do have a lot less hours to give it because I'm this my circumstances are different based off the logo but he when I emailed him the collage the first time I was like hey it's finally finished it's finally complete sorry it took like it took a lot more time than I considered and that's all I said I left it at that and you know this kind hearted kind soul man did to me I am so fucking blessed. He sent me an additional $80. An additional $80. More like what I would have charged typically for something like that. I am so blessed. I'm so grateful. God is good all the time. So that's an update on that. There is a really good energy in the air surrounding me. These past like two to three days, I feel like that Aquarius new moon was so purifying for me. And I had a lot of thoughts surface and even still yesterday and today i'm still having a lot of thoughts like resurface signaling areas where i need to like heal and release and like let go cut cords you know that whole thing but it's been feeling really good and i took yesterday off because i just needed to finish a collage and i was like i'm not going to be necessarily wasting or like losing money if i take a day off of work in fact i'll be gaining money because i'll have the collage done and i've just been like i said before financially i've been i feel like god has been gracing me in moments where i need it but like it's i'm like running off of faith and uh high hopes yeah exactly that i know cilantro is really good i mean i always love like i'm always down for some some cilantro but i never bring it into my house until my last shredder joe's truth i got just cilantro and I've been putting this shit on everything it makes your food taste so fresh this change alone even if you typically eat or like cook fresh plant-based foods you know what I mean adding cilantro to your plate is gonna make it 10 times more fresh so this is my kick right now it's putting cilantro on everything I also have new sauces this is so I'm laughing at myself sharing the fact that I have new sauces but my last Trader Joe's trip I was like ooh Trader Joe's is so cheap let me step out of my comfort zone a little bit to like try something that I wouldn't normally get and I got two new sauces my last time I went to Trader Joe's and I got a full house of groceries for myself and I unexpectedly spent less than $50 on like two weeks worth of food that changed my game that changed my approach to grocery shopping at Trader Joe's but anyways it's nothing really I haven't had before it's just this got the sweet chili from Trader Joe's and this one I haven't had before but I love hot sauce so I'm sure it's the same I hope you're having a good Valentine's Day whenever you see this I hope you had a really good Valentine's Day if you see it way 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 beyond this day I'm excited to see the love in the air when I leave here and I go into public and there's gonna be pink red and white everywhere I go cheers Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Exclamation point. I've been filming for quite some time. I'm gonna talk to you guys later. I hope you are feeling well and I'll see you when I get back home. Hey, I've showered, I have castor oil on my face, and I'm ready to word vomit. It is now 12.07. You can't see it because my brightness is all the way down, but you can trust me, it's 12.07 a.m. Today was weird. It was really strange. And I have a lot on my mind, but I it's I do this you know how actors have to do like mouth exercises before they i don't know if it's actors or really just like theater performers um like stage performance i don't know i'm sure it's also anybody who is expressing with their mouth and such you know because you have muscles in your face yeah you know well okay so you know how performers need to do that before they go out on stage and they express themselves but they're like Oh, I'm about to channel Sharpay from High School Musical, but this is just an example. It's still true. I mean, it might not be to this extent, but you know how Sharpay is like, boom, boom. Um, and there's like actual stage practices that you do before you have to go on to stage. Am I, I'm over, I'm over saying the same thing multiple times. But my point is, I similarly do a thing where I have to, any social setting, any type of where I'm verbally expressing myself, I feel like I need to speak like gradually make my way into a comfort expressive state where i can fully um express what i'm trying to give out if that makes sense i have to warm up with my words before i get to where i'm going and that's probably why i word vomit or want to say the same thing multiple times in different ways 
so commonly. It's because I'm warming up, I'm getting to the point, just give me a second. I love that to, to now not understand what I was about to say. Yeah, I have a lot on my mind, today was strange. There was this one situation, I went downtown, right, obviously because I needed to get to work, that was the main objective of my day. Happy Valentine's Day. I had three pink roses that I got from work. I ate so much donuts. No, they weren't gluten free. Yes, I was gassy all day. I was dusting the whole environment. I'm sorry. Also, the concept of dusting somebody is so funny and I only got familiar with that phrase maybe like two years ago. So before I like got into work, I'm heading to my commute to get to where I work. Lately, a lot of people have been asking me for help like on the streets in terms of like navigation and like I feel like Oregon's navigator and I'm not I'm not even a local like I don't consider myself a local like sure I live here but I've only been here for two years and I don't really ever know where I'm going I know like my spots and that's really it that's all I need to know but lately people have been treating me like literally pointing me out to be the navigator I could be in a crowd of people and somebody's gonna like be lying to me and come to me for whatever reason. So today that happened and I was walking past this lady. She was Korean and she didn't really speak a lot of English but she like knew and she had her GPS set to her language and was reading it based off of that. But I was literally walking past her and she said she had like a sixth sense knowing. She wasn't even facing me. As soon as I walk past her she goes she turns and she points at me and she's like she's like she's like tells her to come here and she shows me what she's trying to get to and I'm telling her oh you're in the right space like you're heading in the right direction just wait for this this to come and you board that and you'll get there. So I'm walking away and I'm like, oh, you got it. Just like, you're you're on the right track. I walk, I help her, I walk away. Literally I take like 15 steps and this man is like, he stops me to ask me if I was helping her to get to where she was going. Cause I, I'm assuming like sh she asked him, but I was like, yeah, she knows where she's going. She just like, she just needed some like reassurance. And I thought it was just gonna end at that. But then he started talking to me about where he was going, making it sound like he needed help, like he needed to also be navigated and guided to the right direction. And he's telling me, I'm trying to go to blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, cool. Do you need me to look for you? I believe it's the other line, but I can check my phone to like make sure you're going the right way. And then he, after I said for me to, like after I insisted I would check my phone to help him, he started going on a tangent about how when you ask somebody for help, they, the person you're asking for help, they don't listen and they try to get you going to other places and that shit like really pissed me off because first of all if you know where you're going he knew where he was going he knew where he was going and i literally got so frustrated about the situation because he he was basically telling me that i wasn't listening and at first after i told him i would check my phone he was like oh i don't trust the phone like you'll have me going all around the city if you use your phone i thought he was like i thought he was just making it funny i thought he was just being like one of those people that are like kind of pessimistic and like just really dramatic over really stupid shit but it's like, I find comedy in those ways because like I understand the stubbornness where that stems from. So at first like I started like smiling and then he started saying that like, but you're not listening. I don't, don't want to go there. You see, you're not listening. He started saying, you are not listening to me. And then from there, I was just like, I'm busy. You get to where you're going safe. Have a great day. And I ended up like walking away because I, I just got really frustrated because one, why are you stopping me? Two, asking me for directions when you already know where you're fucking going. Like, why are you wasting my time? And two, why, how am I not listening when I just said I would check my phone to help you get to where you're going and making sure that you get to where you're going? I even made the point of saying, why are you stopping a stranger to ask for help if you already know where you're going? And then he was like, I don't, I don't consider you a stranger. And I'm like, what do you, like, I was like, I, I didn't say anything in regards to that, but I thought that was really strange. I've never seen this man in my life. I walked away from that interaction feeling very overwhelmed and like I was tearing up because I did a good deed or like I helped somebody and then I'm walking away and somebody else stops me like I'm a fucking navigator like I'm a map do I look like Dora the Explorer's map no I might be this waist might look rabbled like a map Thin as shit. Anyway, so that was like a really weird start of my day. And then I ended up getting to work and it was fine. I mean, I've been having weird, this is probably gonna get into a whole thing because this is actually something I was like journaling about earlier in the day. As actually, actually as I was getting on, you know, getting into work, heading into work. I was using my notes app and I was just journaling. I was journaling in the notes app. I've been ha having an experience of like, sure, I was going under, I had a, I got sick and I entered like a, a depressive episode and I was just feeling very overwhelmed. Just overwhelmed and I was feeling, I was depressed. I'm fresh 
freshly exiting a depressive ep episode, which thank you God. I am in the midst of an expansion right now. And a lot of times in these cases, especially when I'm feeling depressed, I enter a state of dysmorphia, but not even just like body dysmorphia. Like I literally don't recognize myself when I look in the mirror. It's as if like my soul can't catch up to or my body, my physical body can't catch up to what my soul is. I don't even really know how to explain it. Like today when I went into work, I wore a black shirt and the black pants. I wore my typical black pants, black shirt, boots, brown jacket. I had blow drying my hair, which I don't normally do. And it made my hair very, very soft. And it still is. It's that same situation, except it got wet a little bit. But anyways, it made my hair really soft and I had a full face of makeup on. And I was just feeling very unfamiliar with what I was seeing in the in the mirror. Historically, like five years ago, I'm neurodivergent, right? Like this is something I kind of speak on pretty commonly in my channel. I have a brain damage in the past and I haven't had an MRI or a CAT scan done in a really long time. But when I was freshly recovering from that situation, when it was like at its peak, when it was really bad, I didn't wreck, like everything felt fake like constantly like i would look at my hands and like i wouldn't even like i was it just didn't feel real like i felt really removed from myself so my nervous height my nervous system has was so heightened to the point where i just everything felt hazy and felt very dreamlike it, it was a whole situation but it's not so common i actually haven't experienced something that intense in over a year ever since i it's actually one of the reasons why i don't drink coffee anymore is because coffee tends to make my nervous system that active where like i just become so i have the potential of becoming so anxious and so overstimulated where i just literally i can't even see correctly like my vision goes blurry and I start seeing colors and everything is very hazy. It's what I would imagine people who need glasses see, but I don't need glasses. Like I can see perfectly fine until I get to those points, which is not common. I still have moments where like I feel very detached and this, this like disassociated from myself. When I have to go into places of work, it kind of makes it harder for me to like ground myself and feel comfortable and feel calm and like I said grounded because you have to put on this oh god if I have to work for corporations for the next I don't even know like by next year I don't know what that will look like for me personally but like in corporations like you have to put on this stupid like I just oh god I just if you work a normal job like you understand what I'm trying to say so it's hard for me to feel entirely myself I'm I guess I'm nail filing my nails right now. So sometimes even like an outfit can trigger that feeling of like disassociating with myself. Why did I bring this up? I know that I'm talking about things that interesting. That sucks, that's really annoying. And I wanna like stop filming because I don't remember what the purpose of this was. Oh, I was talking about my day and like why I felt weird. I filmed my morning clip and I felt really good and then I put my work clothes on and it, I just felt myself like my mood shifted. And after the situation with the man downtown, I was feeling very strange and then I got into work and it was just like, was feeling very strange and I've been eating gluten. So like I've just been bloated and like I haven't been feeling entirely like confident. Like I've been struggling with some self-esteem and some self image situations lately. Just know that I'm expanding energetically and like in my physical realm and like I'm experiencing stuff that I've never experienced before. So there's a lot of discomfort that can come with that. Things feel easier right now and I've been giving myself time when I need, like I called out of work yesterday, for example. There's a lot going on. It's not as easy for me to ground myself each day like I normally would. My barista job is like really boring. It's really boring, it's not very busy, and there's not much like, if there's not customers, there's not really much of anything to do because it's such a small space and like you can clean and get things done. Everything is just so fucking boring. I literally just sit there and drink milk for like eight hours. I just sit and drink milk all day. I don't know, I'm 26 now, I turned 27 this year. Like by the end of this year, if I'm still working for these corporations, like I'm convinced I will KMS before 30. Forbes 30 under 30. Forbes kill yourself before 30. That's the list thing I would be on. If I'm still working on these corporations by the end of the year, I don't, I don't know. There is one thing that's keeping me at this job and sure like I have bills to pay, but it's mostly my bus pass and not having to pay transit to sit around in a space for eight hours a day knowing that you can be using your time so much more effectively that will help you grow in ways that matter to yourself and not just uh, giving your time to a fucking corporation that is making 
so much money whatever i'm very much planning out what's next to me for me in in that realm and i have to keep reminding myself that all of this is temporary too because it's already it was already a very temporary job for me i've only been working there for like a month now and i still want to make it throughout spring because i want to get my finances right yada 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 but goddamn it is so boring it's like not worth it and i didn't even get to enjoy my favorite holiday valentine's day is my favorite holiday and i know i'm not wearing anything i mean you can't see i am wearing things i have pink and red leg warmers on but i didn't wear anything to work i thought the full face of makeup would help it didn't it actually just kind of made matters <laughs> weirder for me taking time for yourself recognizing when you are unfulfilled being patient with your your growth, your process, and allowing temporary discomfort to bring in mad success and abundance. Anyways, I hope your things, I keep, I don't know what it is, Valentine's Day and Thanksgiving. I don't know why I keep going to say Valentine's Day and Thanksgiving comes out. You know how many times this happened to me today? Four times at the very bare minimum. How your Valentine's Day is going well? It has to be something with the V and Thanksgiving and the V and Valentine's Day, but they're just so different. And they're the only two holidays with V in the name, am I wrong? God, dyslexia is crazy. I don't know why I keep doing that, but it's not, this is not, this is not the first time today. It's the fifth time. I hope your Valentine's Day is going well. I have my day off tomorrow, so I'm very excited I'm going to be going into yoga in the morning and working on the graphic design collage once again. Once again. I don't really have anything else to share. I, I, thought I would have more. I'm getting used to filming and feeling comfortable in front of the camera. I don't really know what to ever talk about anymore. Or like the thoughts just don't, I feel like they just don't, I'm probably just being too hard on myself because that's something I've been doing. So I release all expectations. I release all expectations. I love you all very much. Thank you for watching this video. I don't know what it is. I don't know what we got from it, but I know that I'm trying to release expectations of what I'm filming right now. What I can share at this time, it's enough. Thank you for watching this. I really appreciate your time. My camera's about to overheat anyway, so this is really good timing. I hope that you can remember to be patient with yourself as you go after what you dream and what you desire and where you see yourself in your future. Be patient with yourself, but as long as you're taking steps, that is enough. That is enough, and it's important that you remember that you remain present in the journey and you remember to give thanks and remain grateful for your resources and all that is around you in your present moment. My name is Casey. Thank you for watching this video or listening. My leg is really itchy. You can't see it, but I'm scraping my leg. Okay, I love you. Bye.